Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will explore more property nodes in LabVIEW, especially the property node of waveform graph. A one particular property node that can change the background of waveform graph. It means that we can import pictures in the background of our waveform graph. So how we can do it is first we just place a waveform graph on it as you can find out here from the waveform graph and then after placing on the front panel we can just go on to our block diagram and then first to show some data we will place uh, random numbers uh, using a for loop and this random number generator let's say we will place a random number of 100 random numbers from 0 to 100 which are already set at the boundary so a random number will be generated on our uh, waveform graph now we want to change its background basically so how we can change its background is we will go to graphics and sounds and then picture functions or say graphic formats we will read jpg file so to read the jpg file and then we have to show it on the lab view then we need to draw the flattened pix map so i will create a control in here which will give me a path so that i can choose uh, the jpg file and then i will give it the image data to pix map so that it will give me the output picture as create an indicator in here so that it will give me a new image uh, in here so let's just try it i will give a path to it so let's just say i want to import this picture so i'll just import this picture and run my program as you can see in here a picture is imported so we can just uh, resize it or we can explore more uh, um, property nodes of this new picture as the zoom factor we want to set its zoom point so right now this is the whole picture basically so if we uh, include more property node like to set the picture within this frame then what we can do it by using the property nodes of the new picture so we go to property nodes of this and draw the area size and then what we have to do is to unbundle and connect it so we have width and height of basically the area size right now we have of this new picture so these are the two things we have then we will go again and unbundle the pix map uh, outputs like i want the rectangle right and the bottom of the image output so we will get the right and bottom of the image and we will get the area size of width and height of this new picture so the next thing what we're going to do is we will divide the width of our draw area size with rectangular right of our picture output and similarly make a copy of this divide function and divide the height with our rectangular bottom which we are getting as the pix map data output so the next thing is we will get the maximum and minimum we will set as the x-axis and we will set its y so now we will get the minimum zoom factor we want as to set within this frame so again we will create an other um, property node as zoom factor change it to right and then connect the minimum xy factor to our zoom factor so now if i run my program as you can see the whole picture is fit within the scale so if i change it in here that will be set it according to the frame i set so that it will be enclosed within that uh, frame basically so now i will come back to my main theme that how we can uh, put this picture in the waveform graph basically 
So to put the picture inside the waveform graph, we will use another uh, property node of the waveform graph named as uh, plot images. So let's just say I want to plot the image in the middle. So I will just change it to right. And then what we are going to do is we will choose um, we will choose a button in here like whenever I will press the button then only it will show me the picture otherwise it will not show me the picture so change the its mechanical action to switch when pressed and let's just go to the block diagram and let's just select a case selector so that every time if I press the button then only it will show me the picture otherwise not so Again, I will go to the picture function and use empty picture so that if I do not if if I do not press the button then it will show me an empty picture otherwise this will give me this new picture or I can just connect it like this and I will connect it the output in here. So right now if I run my program since I have not pressed the button now i have pressed the button so a picture will be shown to my um on my graph palette so i can resize it to just that place so that the picture will be selected in here right now the zoom ratio of the picture is one cross one so we must have to set the basically the graph properties so that it's uh picture will have more appropriate uh, resizing function so I can just change the line style and line width here so that it will be more visible and run the program so that's how we can insert the image on our graph basically so again if I right now do not want to uh, uh, anytime I will come back and I do not want to insert the picture every time in here then I can what I can do is I will just delete it or otherwise I will create its constant create a constant from here and I, what I can do is I will delete this remove the broken wire and then just connect it from in here so that if I just run my program right now the picture will be here I can now just delete the whole thing from here and if I save my program right now then every time I run this will be saved in the form of this picture constant so it will be saved in here i can create its vertical and horizontal scroll bar to see the whole picture basically so this is the picture right now i can resize it to check it so this is the our picture right now you can choose different pictures with different sizes and play with its more property nodes to find out more things so it will give you the basic idea of how it is worked.